everybody, it's Patty Ann. I'm using this mug today. It's got flowers on it since we're making flowers. Okay, I have made two prototypes. I'm getting a little bit better. This was my first one. On this one, I'll tell you about the cardstock that I use as opposed to the cardstock I use on this one. This project is a little bit more fiddly to put together a rose than this one was. This one was a lot easier to put together, but let me show you how, or I'll give you a few tips on doing this one if you're going to do it. Okay, the first tip that I'll give you is about the kind of paper that you use. The first one that I made, I used this cardstock right here, just called a paper that came from uh, Joann's. It doesn't say what weight it is, but it's pretty stiff compared to the second one I used. This one, this pack of cardstock by Heidi Swap, I got from Tuesday morning. There's two good things about this particular type of cardstock. A, it's double sided. And I really think you want to use something double sided because if you don't, you get the white of the cardstock showing out, unless you're not using a printed one, and then that would be okay. But anyway, I would use a double sided one. The second thing that's really important is this. There's two, the, as I said, this one didn't say what weight it was, but listen to that. Listen how heavy it sounds. As opposed to this one, which is the Heidi Swap one, it's really a lot lighter, and the lighter one was a lot easier and made a prettier flower. So a double-sided, a little bit lighter cardstock is the way to go. Okay, the next thing that I want to tell you is this. After you cut out your pieces, I recommend that you put them together with the different sizes, the small, medium, and large petals, and then you have these two base pieces. So you're going to start with the smaller of the two base pieces, and um, it's going to be maybe easier for you to see on this side. Let's see. Can you see by any chance those little slits that are there? Well, those little slits are used all throughout this putting together of this project. Like, look at all the little slits. Let's see if I can get this little slit. Mm. Oh, there you go. Okay, can you see all those little slits? Those are little slits into which you're going to be putting the stem of the petals. So my next tip to you is this. Let's say you're going to start with, we'll start with the largest one, although you would probably start with the smallest one because that's the first ones you put in. But if you're going to put these petals together, what you want to do is to make sure when you overlap them that the stems stay together as like one piece. You don't want the stems to be like crossing over like that because it'll make it too thick to fit through that little slit. So when you actually put these together, you want to try to make sure that the stems stay the width of just one of the stems, if you know what I mean. Like here's the width of one stem. When you put this one on top, you want to make sure that the width here at the bottom is still just the, the width of one stem. Because otherwise, you won't be able to get it to fit into these little slots that are on here. This is the part that's kind of fiddly on this. I'm not sure that I would you know, do it like this if I were uh, creating this project myself, but using this project, this is the way that it has been designed. So you can use hot glue on here. Just be careful, obviously. I've really burnt some uh, fingerprints off my fingers on this project. <laughs> Okay, so you can maybe see what I'm talking about. I've tried to keep that just one stem width so that when this, again, is put together and there's these little slits, oh, it's a pain, these little slits here, I can fit that into there when it's time. Okay? So... What I recommend you do now is to take all the different sizes and put them together, keep the same sizes together, and, oh, but before that, it's recommended that you curl these 
and you want to curl them outwards. I should have done this one before I um, glued it. But I want to just go like this with a pencil or something like that. And I can just kind of easily make it just kind of curl outwards a little bit like that. Just a curl. So I can go through and do this on all of them first if I want, and then come back and start gluing them. But remember, the most important part is that base of the stem. Try to make sure it's the same size. If by chance it gets off and you can't fit it into the little slot, you can always cut the uh, stem so that it will be smaller again. So that's it for this part. Okay, I have all of my petals. Um, rounded. <laughs> I don't have them glued together yet, but I'm going to start on this part right here. And I'm going to take the smaller of these two pieces that look the same. And if you'll notice here, there's a little notch on this side and there's one on this side. Well, there's a corresponding little slot here too. You see the two slots? So what you're going to do is you're going to curl this one around. Kind of curl it around a bit. Okay. So that you can take and bend this and put it right into that little slot. Okay, it's already starting to be fiddly, but it is easier than it is with the harder or the stiffer cardstock. You just kind of have to work with it and get that in there like that. Now when I started doing this originally, I did not glue it, but I found that some of my things were coming apart if I didn't glue it. So I am going to add a little bit of glue now to this lip. Just trying to add a little blob, and of course, I put a great big huge one on there, and I'm really gonna get burnt. <laughs> okay, so just bend that down there and hold that till it's not so hot anymore. Holding it with my fingernail so I don't get terribly burnt. Okay, after that one's done, then I come around and I do the same thing on this side. I'm going to curl this one around until I can get it to go into its little slot. Or I can just glue it like so. And don't even worry about those little slots. And you're supposed to kind of make these go out a little bit if you can. So the second one there, I didn't even worry about its slot. I just put it in there. Second one, you're just going to curl this side in and this side at the same time and overlap them like this until this one can be put into the little slot. like that. Okay. And again, it shows you to use a little glue. So I'm just going to take my little tiny glue bottle that I have and insert it right, where was that little spot, right here into this spot. And just, if I can get it in there, just add a little glue in there. And just hold it. That extra. <clears throat> so that's all you have to do for the first part. Okay, for this next part, we're going to begin inserting the little stems into this piece. So it kind of shows you on the diagram that I printed out or that you can see online which little slots you're supposed to put these stems into. It's kind of confusing, but just do the best you can. 
So I think I'm going to start here with this first little sock right here. And I was using my little glue bottle before to kind of help to open up that little slot. Let's see, where is it? It's not as easy to find when you have a pattern paper. I think the first one, yeah, it's right here. You, you can see how fiddly this is going to be right off the bat. Just trying to get this little slot, there we go, open. If you don't have a little glue bottle like this, you can use a pin or a safety pin or something like that. So when I glue this in, I'm going to glue it like this. And I think that should go in further. So I don't think this is open enough for some reason. Huh. Or, no, I see what the problem is. Remember how I said, don't make it any wider? Mine's a little bit wider there. So what I'm going to do is I just use this X-Acto knife and I just slice that part out and that part. And I do it on my self-healing mat, which you can't see. It's right off camera, just a tiny little bit. But I'm going to slice this off and this part here so that it will fit down. There's the little tiny, tiny piece. Oops. I had to cut off. <laughs> it's right there. Just a little piece. And now if I try, this ought to just fit right down in there. Yeah, see? That's the difference that it makes. So you do have to make sure about that. So let's see. Where should I put the glue? It does show to glue it, right? The glue together. And then it shows putting it in. I actually don't see it gluing, so I'm just going to not glue it and see what happens. So there's the first one. The second one, let's look at my stem. It's okay. Might be a tiny bit wide. Let's see what happens when I put it in. Okay, that one went in well, really nice. Now the third spot is way up here. So that one looks pretty good, the stem does. Slip this down into here. You know what, This on this third one, I was just going to say I'm getting so much better, but all of a sudden this one's not going in. What's up? So I'm going to poke my glue gun in there, my glue little bottle, my little nozzle in there, and now I'll try to stick this in. Okay, this is one I've got to trim. This one looks pretty good. There we go. It's a little, no, I think it's a little bit off. You know what? So that you can see what I'm doing, let me get my scissors if they're right here. Hmm, where do I put them? There they are. Okay, so what I'm doing is there's this little piece right here that's sticking out that's a little too fat for the stem compared to the other part of the stem. So I'm cutting that off to make it the right size. <laughs> and now this should fit right down in there. There we go. There's three. Where's the fourth one go? Put my diagram again. So there's high and then a low one then a high one now there should be another low one there it is there's that just to poke it through a little bit there it is there it is you kind of have to feel with your fingernail almost to see where these slots are. There it is. Okay, this one's crazy. Not too well glued. You see, can you see what I'm talking about? See how it's not straight? There's this extra bit here. That's going to make it so it won't go straight down in there as it should. So I'm just going to trim that off just a bit. And now it should fit down in there easily. 
There's this little spot. Fairly easily. Like I said, this is a pretty fiddly project. It's not as easy as you would think it could be. And it's certainly, whoopsie, looky there, not as easy as that other rose was. Where did this guy come from? Well, all I can say is it's a good thing these turn out pretty cute because it is pretty darn fiddly to figure out. I'm going to put this one in this little slit right here. And the slits are all the way through, but they're just, just difficult. There's three or four. We have one more to put in, and I guess it goes right here. So this concludes, let me try, oh darn it, I knocked another one out. This almost concludes the first layer. <laughs> Get back from there, well you be long, buddy. But I uh, glued them on one, but I don't see where it's telling me to glue it. I guess they kind of hold each other in as you go. Alright, so there's the first layer. Okay, and of course this is going to go in the center still. So that's the first layer. So the next thing I have to do then is come to this layer, and there are only three petals for it. And again, I can look over here at this diagram as best I can. Let's see, where are the three petals? Three. Here we go. Here are the three petals, and this is kind of showing you where to put them. It's not real clear, and it's not very easy, but I do think the flowers turn out really pretty. So I'm going to continue on. Let's see, where is he? There he is. I think that's pretty. And glue these together, and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and finished this these flowers, and I got to tell you, I think they turned out really cute. They're really pretty, but I would don't think I would ever make them again. It's They're just too difficult to make, and there are other patterns that are easier. But I was wondering, you know, when I went back to the original uh, Cricut um, cartridge information, and you remember how I told you that there was that page in the beginning and it said that the image should be cut at this size or smaller well this flower says it should be cut at 10.6 inches or smaller so maybe three inches is a little bit too small I don't know all I know is those little slits were really a pain in the behind so Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me, you guys. I think I'm going to try another Cricut Access one. One of the ones I had pointed out in yesterday's video that I said I thought would be really gorgeous. It's more cut on the line of the little rose that I had made from the purchased SVG files that I had gotten off Etsy. And I think it'll be a lot easier and a lot more satisfying. So anyway, thanks a lot for joining me, you guys. Hey, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up, comment. Uh, nicely <laughs> um, uh, share across the social medias thanks you guys bye